Hi guys, how are you? Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon I'm to you too. Good. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. So is Beza there too? Okay. Yes, he will join us good. in a minute. Good. Very good. So <laughs> Shirin, have you thought Thanks. about the topic? Yes. Uh, sure, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a little bit. Yes, I mm -hmm. think I thought about it, but it's a little bit hard, hard for me. <laughs> Why? Why is it hard? Mm. Mm. I don't know <laughs> because it's never happened to me. Uh -huh. It's uh, someone middle in my career no no and uh, no 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 go back say that sentence again i mean make that sentence again about mm -hmm. never happening uh, because uh, it's the uh, it never uh, because it's never happening in my life no 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 um no never someone because no, no. She, see, when I say say it again, mm -hmm. don't change it. Don't change mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. Focus on the tense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, never someone middle. No. Um, have had have, uh, have medal in my career. Okay. First of all, not career. You don't mean your your work mm -hmm. and your job. You're not talking about that. You're talking about your life mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. And when you put never at the beginning of the sentence, then you have to change the order. You cannot say never I have done that. Never have I done that. That's the correct mm -hmm. word. So make that sentence again. Mm -hmm. I asked you a question. Why? Why do you think it's hard? Because? Mm hmm because mm -hmm. um, uh, so, uh, someone never um, someone never have done have uh, mm -hmm. meddled uh, in my uh, life. All right. All right. Look at this sentence, Shireen. This is your sentence. Read it and tell me okay. if you think it's correct. Someone never. No, no, no. Uh, mm -hmm. Someone never have meddled in my life. You just said the same sentence. Mm, I uh, corrected. Okay, corrected. Say corrected it again. Corrected it. Someone ne uh -huh. never. Uh -huh. Someone uh, never uh -huh. middled in my life. It's Hello. Has Hello. Hello, Ezad. How are you? Thank you very much. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Sorry, we had to start without you. Thanks for joining us. And Shirin yes. is in the middle of correcting her own sentence. And Shirin, I wrote middle because you pronounced it middle. But the verb we're working with mm -hmm. here is medal, not with middle. Medal. Medal. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But but this sentence Maybe. isn't correct. Would you please correct it? Focus. Ambezad, please don't help. Okay, let her. Someone mm -hmm. has never meddled in my life. Let me write that. Someone has never meddled in my life. Okay. Okay, read the three sentences and tell me if they're right. The tense is, is it the tense correct? Has never middled in my life. Yes, the tense is correct. Middle. The tense is correct. Yes, it's present perfect. That's correct. But you have to pay attention to the order of the words in the sentence. And no also, one. 
the huh, no, no one. one, and also the choice of words. Okay, so you fix this mm -hmm. part. No one. Mm -hmm. Go on. No one mm -hmm. has never. No, no. Visa, please don't no. say anything. Let her. No one has never. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. mm, has never meddled in my life. Never. Okay. Now look at this sentence and tell me what's mm -hmm. wrong with it. Mm -hmm. No one has meddled in my life. Okay, Demi. No one has meddled in my life. Okay, no one has meddled in my life. Now, this sentence is correct, but you want to emphasize. Why? Because at the beginning of um, the session, you said that this topic is difficult for you because this, I don't want to make that sentence. I don't want to say it. Because this hargiz baratun ruch nadade. Okay, now you have to emphasize. How do you do that? This sentence is correct. The last mm -hmm. one is correct. But you have to add something to emphasize on it's never happening to you. No one. Mm -hmm. There's one word, I'll give you a hint, Shirin. There's one word that we usually use with never. Never is usually accompanied with another word. Never plus something. No, no, ever. Uh -huh, very good. No very one. Very good, yes. No, now, how, where do you put ever? No one. Um, ever. No one has meddled in my life. No. No one. And mm -hmm. no one ever has meddled in my life. Uh, change the order a little bit. No one has has a uh -huh, has uh -huh, ever yes. met yes. life. Yes, very good. No one has ever mm -hmm. meddled in my life. Now mm -hmm. make the same sentence. This time you have to change some mm -hmm. words and use the word never. How do you say that with never? Never. Yes, if you put never at the beginning of the sentence. How do you make that sentence? Never. Uh -huh. Never anybody no. has middle. No. no, no. First of all, Shirin, it's middle, not middle. Okay, middle. And middle. I'll give you a hint to get there faster. Never is negative. Mm -hmm. You know that when mm -hmm. you use something that's negative, a negative element in a sentence, then you cannot have another negative element. You have to use positive words with it because never makes it negative. Mm -hmm. So that's my hint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. Never, for example, never people no, has... No, no. you want to use present perfect again. The same tense. Don't change the tense. Mm -hmm. Never, mm -hmm. people never ever meddled in my life. People never meddled ever in meddled. Life then it's not present perfect. Uh, people never 
ever have meddled in li in my life. Say it again. Let me type it. People. Mm -hmm. Go on. Never ever no. have me meddled in my life. Okay, people never have meddled in my life. Okay, that sentence is correct. Now make it with never at the beginning of the sentence. That's what I want you to make. Never at the beginning of the sentence. The sentence should start with never. How do you say it? Never. Mm -hmm. uh, never people. No. Mm -hmm. Never, uh, no. Okay. I don't know. You know, you have to focus yeah. a little bit. Mm. But okay, I'll go to Bezad and um, listen carefully, okay? Bezad, would you please make that sentence? With never at the beginning. Um, um, I know when uh, we use a um, negative thing like never at the beginning of the sentence we have mm -hmm. to change the order yes, of good. the rest of the sentence yes. for example mm -hmm. i suppose it would be um never ever um have meddled people in my life no no not like that you have to change the order uh -huh. as if it's a question uh -huh. that's my hint to you um uh, only uh, when uh, we want to uh, make the sentence in a quest question form no 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 it looks like a question but it's not a question it's just in question form just because never is at the beginning yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so the uh, sentence would be mm -hmm. people no. have meddled no. in my life when it is in question form, mm -hmm. it is have people meddled. Very good. Yes, never ever have people meddled. No, you have, yeah. to, you have to change it a little bit after never. Never ever no. have. No, not never ever. Ne no. Never. Uh huh. Never. Uh, yes, never. Mm -hmm. um, people. Have uh -huh. people meddled in my life? Very good. Never people have meddled in my life. Now add ever. Mm. If you want to add ever to that sentence, how would it change? Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you say mm. never people have? Never have people. I wrote it wrong. Never have people. Never have meddled. people meddled in yes. my life. Um, meddled in my life now add ever add ever to the same sentence where do you put ever yes i've never have people ever meddled in my very life very good excellent yes never have people ever meddled in my life now i want you to say the same sentence this time use anyone when I say the same sentence, I mean the same tense, not the same sentence. Use anyone. Uh, yes. Um, With never. Never and anyone. Uh, anyone. Yes. Um, what's the hint? Yeah, yeah the <laughs> same. See, you said never have people ever meddled in my life, or the simpler form, never have people meddled in my life, okay? Never at the beginning, but instead of people, yeah. instead of people, use anyone. That's it. Anyone? Uh -huh. Yes. Anyone instead had... of people. The sentence should start with never. How do you say yes, it? Yes, anyone, anyone hasn't meddled in my life. Okay, where's the never? never. <laughs> There's no never in that sentence. Start the sentence with uh -huh. never. 
Never any uh, yes. Never any woman. Never hasn't anyone. Sure, you're uh, close. Oh. You're close, but Middle no, not hasn't. You're close, Shireen, but no, that's not correct. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. Never have people ever met in my life. Never. Mm -hmm. What was the sentence you said? Any never. Uh -huh. Never has people. No, no, no not people. Uh, anyone. anyone. Never has anyone. Uh -huh. uh, never has anyone no middle in my life. No? no. Why no? No. No, not that. Not. Not middle to me. Never anyone has meddled in my life. No, because you know, anyone is like people, the subject. But because never comes at the beginning, you have to change the order. You have to bring the verb first. So, never. Never hasn't anyone meddled in my life. Very much closer, but no, because, you know, never is negative. Never anyone haven't is... anyone. Never... Say it again. What did you say? What did never, you say? Uh -huh. never haven't anyone in a medal no, in my life. No, don't change that verb. Just <laughs> focus on it's being positive or negative. Okay. The changes, ha the verb is have or has and has was correct. Has is for anyone, for anyone, everyone, uh, someone, no one. You use singular verbs, singular, like third person singular. So has never it. has anyone. Uh huh. Never, never has anyone. Uh huh. Then, what is the rest of the sentence? Hello. Never has anyone meddled in my life. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. Never has anyone meddled. So has in my life, yes. You have to keep the mm -hmm. verb positive here because you have never and you have anyone. So they yeah. all they both have negative connotations. Okay, now back to the topic. <laughs> okay, Shireen, how do you deal with people who meddle in your mm -hmm. efforts? What do you tell such people? Tell me about one instance in which mm -hmm. you had to start a fight mm -hmm. because of someone's meddling. What do you do if someone gives you unsolicited advice? I, I know because these are different questions, but because at first you said that um, you've never experienced this, so I offered uh, more questions. Mm -hmm. You can talk about any of these um, that are true about you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, for myself, I have some discipline mm -hmm. uh, that uh, I think never let, uh, never uh, people let them to meddle in my, meddle mm -hmm. in my life. You mean let themselves? And, uh, I people have never some, let themselves, you mean? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mm. Yes, themselves. Yes. And, and also, I have some she, wait, rules wait, wait, and wait. I have very... Wait, you. after let, you don't say to. Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. never let themselves do this, not mm -hmm. to do this, no. Mm -hmm. People never let themselves mm -hmm. meddle in my affairs, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, go on. My affairs. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I'm very... Mm -hmm. um, I'm I I ne I never uh, make um, friend very easily. Make friend uh, yeah. and uh, okay. Wait, Shireen. I'm sorry to interrupt friend. you. Even if you you want to refer to just one person, this expression is plural. I make friends mm -hmm. with you. You make friends mm -hmm. with two people. With one person, it's friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, so say that sentence again. Mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, and I never uh -huh. 
never um, I make friends no, no. Uh, easily. No, no, not like that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. See, first of all, when you bring never at the beginning, I... you have to change the order. We change the order with present perfect, mm -hmm. but when it's not present perfect, you don't have an auxiliary or helping verb. Mm -hmm. The auxiliary in present perfect is have or has. But when it's present, present simple, mm -hmm. like when mm -hmm. you say, what was your sentence? That you don't let people mm -hmm. do this. Okay. When um, you use never, then you have to, mm -hmm. you have to mm -hmm. use do, does, did when it's not present perfect in order to change the order. Mm -hmm. So would you please say that last sentence? Never, mm -hmm. never, mm -hmm. never, um, never, like this, do, mm -hmm. never, do, mm -hmm. uh, never, do I make friends mm -hmm. uh, very easily? Yes, never do I let people meddle in my affairs, another example. Yes, okay, go on. And don't hurry, okay? Speak slowly and focus on your words and tenses. Mm -hmm. Go on. And uh, I'm with to... Uh, uh, I have to uh, take a lot of time with them. And after that, mm -hmm. I... Uh, after uh, many times no. and many... Uh, no, 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 no. Many times? I've Mm -hmm. Of mm -hmm. course, we have many times, but what you're After, talking about does not mm -hmm. mean many times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What should you say? After, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. After um, I, um, for example, no, I want to say that I want to say that I want to say that I want Use time. After a lot of time. Uh -huh, a lot of time. Mm -hmm. So when you say times, I want to say that after a lot of time, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, I want to say that after a lot of times, after spending a lot of time mm -hmm. with them. Huh? Uh -uh. Yes, after spending, yes, after spending uh, a lot of time with them, mm -hmm. I decided, I decided uh -huh. to, uh, um, to uh, accept them mm -hmm. as a friend. Very good, excellent. Okay. And do you sign a contract? <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you, do you, she's going to kill me. Do you sign a contract? Oh, contract. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you need, to, you need to watch this TV series, Shireen. I think you'll like it. It's The Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I'm not sure it's, uh, okay. if the name of this series is the big bang theory or big bang theory but there's one character in the series named sheldon sheldon okay and um mm -hmm. he's a very you know unique person really intelligent and if he wants mm -hmm. to make friends with someone there are rules and she even for the first mm -hmm. time that she um made friends with a girl and that girl became his girlfriend, mm -hmm. he signed a contract. Mm -hmm. He made a contract and he, he <laughs> made the girlfriend sign it. And every year they had to renew the contract. <laughs> you know, their, their spending time together was in the contract. They had to, to specify everything. Yes, do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. but I think you like it. Just watch this series and you'll enjoy it. I love Sheldon. Okay, yes. so <laughs> then you accept them. So you sign a contract after you accepted someone as a friend. Yes. And in the contract, you mentioned that uh, <laughs> under no circumstances, you're allowed to meddle in my affairs. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> 
I'm joking. Okay, yes, go exactly. on. Exactly. <laughs> exactly, really? And, Are uh, you serious? Mm, <laughs> no, uh, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Okay. Really? <laughs> okay. And um, I think the discipline is very important mm -hmm. in uh, friend in relationship and mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe I um, have maybe I have seen this type of people, but mm -hmm. I never attention to them. No, 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 no. I, go back. I never. Uh huh. I never. I do, I. I uh -huh. never. Uh -huh. I never mm -hmm. have uh, um, uh, attention. No, no. Uh, attention is the attention. noun. No, no. Mm -hmm. The verb is something else. Attention is the noun. The verb is? I never mm -hmm. pay attention. Uh -huh. I have never paid attention. Yes. I have never paid attention to them. Yes. To them. Yes. But what and, do you do um, with, when these people are the, in your life? Like, for example, maybe mm -hmm. they, they're your relatives or maybe in-laws. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. in-laws. What does in-laws mean? Uh, in Farsi. Like, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, go on. No. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I... Limit my relationship and the, the time of that I spend with them. Uh, and no, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, when you said I limit my relationship mm -hmm. and the time of that I spend with them, is that your sentence? Mm -hmm. Correct it, please. Um, Correct it, please. I limit. Mm -hmm. I limit. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, I limit the time mm -hmm. uh, that mm -hmm. uh, I spend uh -huh. uh, with them. Very good. Excellent. Okay, go mm -hmm. on. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. in my mind, everyone has, uh, has uh, sometimes, for example, uh, with someone uh, I just ask, uh, how are you? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. <laughs> no more. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and everyone, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit closer, for example, what's going on, mm -hmm. what happened. Mm -hmm. And uh, all people have some contract in my mind. In your mind, yes. Some contract, have signed <laughs> some contracts with you in your mind, yes. But all in all, Shirin, uh, I, it, it must happen to you. Sometimes people mm -hmm. do that. Even that person that you mm -hmm. say, I only say, hello, how are you two, might ask you questions like this. For example, mm -hmm. why don't you, I don't know, change your apartment? Why do you drive this car? Mm -hmm. Why is your daughter mm -hmm. doing this? I don't know. They, they must say mm -hmm. things like that. I, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Yes, most of the time I change the subject mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I change the subject and I ask uh, some type of question mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that they don't like to answer them mm -hmm. and uh, I ask a question with a question. <laughs> uh -huh. I, no, yeah, I, did you say I ask the question with the question? No, no. I answer the uh -huh. question. No, I answer mm -hmm. the question with a question. Yes. Or uh, maybe I change the, the subject, and I change the topic. Some. Um, I change the topic, mm -hmm. or sometimes I uh, pretend. Mm -hmm. I. Uh, mm, I mm -hmm. didn't understand. Uh, uh, I don't understand what you say. What they say. And I, uh, what they say. What they say. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? How do you pretend that you don't understand mm -hmm. what they say? Do you ask them mm -hmm. to explain? Do you ask them to repeat? For example, uh, one day, uh, one of our, um, one, 
someone mm -hmm. invite me to her house no. and no, he she asked focused. me focused. Mm -hmm. invite me to her house mm -hmm. and he asked me uh, some private questions mm -hmm. and yes. uh, oh, I questions and when uh, the, her daughter uh, comes came uh, I started to play with her mm -hmm. and uh, I ignored <laughs> her question mm -hmm. and uh, um, I uh, pretend to uh, okay. pretended to answer her question and um, after a while mm -hmm. I apologized her and I said I have no. to go to home. No, 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 not um, I apologized I, her. No, I had, uh -huh. I apologize to uh -huh. her. To her. To her. To her. But instead of saying, I say, yes, very good. Then, I apologize to her and I say I had to go back home. That is correct. But uh, usually in these situations, we say, I excused myself. Myself? Yes. I excused myself. یعنی که عذرخواهی کردم که بعد از حضورتون مرخص بشم به حال حالا به هر دلیلی اوکی شال آی اکسکیوز مای سلف اوکی آی وان اکسکیوز مای سلف آی اکسکیوز مای سلف ایت مینز دت ایت دزنت مین سینگ سوری اند دی ادر پرسن فورگیوز یو ناتینگ لایک دت جاست آی اکسکیوز مای سلف یو کین اف کورس سی آی اپولوجایز تو هر بات وین یو سی آی اپولوجایز تو هر It usually means that you did something wrong and you should be sorry for what you did. But you just want to say that you wanted to make an excuse and say goodbye. You didn't want to spend more time with them. So say I excused myself and went back home. You can say that. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And uh, after that, uh, I uh, didn't... Uh, Uh, make uh, make connection make connection no. with her no, no. and no mm. another word instead of connection mm. better don't say mm. <laughs> no no connection <laughs> it's good that you don't know okay it looks like connection but it's not connection right yeah it starts with yes. ka. But it's not connection. I uh -huh. didn't connect. No, not connect. But it's close to connect. Contact. Uh -huh, very good. Contact. I didn't contact her. Yes, very mm -hmm. good. I didn't contact her. I didn't. Mm -hmm. her, and it was the first and the last. <laughs> oh, the first and the last time. I see. Okay. Good. Okay. So that's your... Yeah. There, there's an expression you learned some sessions ago when someone wants to mm -hmm. just what, what the, the example that you gave. She asked you a question. You changed mm -hmm. the topic. It means that you pretended that you didn't hear what she said or what she asked you. There's an expression that you learned about this. How do you say it in English? <laughs> Question? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Bezad, if you know, you can say it. No, unfortunately. Okay, I'll yeah. give you a hint. There's an alley in it. An alley? Excuse me. What am I talking about? There's an eye in it. <laughs> I was translating from Farsi. There's an eye in it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. a bl blind eye yes but what turn a blind very eye. good yes you turn a blind eye exactly you can say i usually turn a blind or eye mm, yes exactly okay yeah. let's go to bezad now thank you very much shirin let me see if bezad has something to say so bezad have you had time to think about the topic uh yes mm -hmm. Um, so, what's your method? And, Do you sign contracts with people? You know, 
<laughs> Do you give them I can say exams, many. entrance exams for <laughs> accepting them, admitting them into your life? I'm joking, of course. Okay, go on. Meddling, uh, I can say, yeah, meddling wasn't and isn't a major problem in our life, mm -hmm. you know, because of, uh, because of uh, lifestyle. Uh, you know, first when we got married mm -hmm. 18 years ago, mm -hmm. Immediately after that, we went to Koramabad and we, we lived there for two or three years. Mm -hmm. After that, we were to another city and we were not close to, you know, our relatives mm -hmm. and families. And uh, due to that, mm -hmm. or because of that, mm -hmm. we uh, didn't have, um, uh, you know, that problem. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, meddling, especially, you know, that grandfathers and grandmothers uh, tend yeah. to meddle, meddle um, in your life and how you mm -hmm. um, raise your children how you raise your mm -hmm. children raise your children yeah grandmothers or and grandparents I think, that's so strange i never heard that i always heard about parents but not grandparents oh yes Grand, I mean, Ghazal grandparents. Ah, so your parents, <laughs> your parents. Uh -huh, okay, okay, go on. Yeah. And uh, I can say it was uh, one of the advantages of our lifestyle. I mean, living, um, in, living in another city. Mm -hmm. But for me, okay, wait, wait, Pesat. meddling and always me. Wait, Pesat. You said advantages. Okay, advantage is a good, of course, yeah. word, but there are other words you can use that are a bit informal. Benefit. Benefits, very good. But another word, what else do you know instead of advantage? Let me type this one. Cause. What did you say? Cause and prones. Uh, that's very formal. No. Yes. One of the... There's one that starts with uh... P. One of the uh, starts with P and continues with what? <laughs> then I can, then I'll give it away if I say it. Okay, it's P and E. Can you say it? P and E. There's only four letters. No, I don't know. Only four letters. P. Uh, no, no. How about Shirin? Shirin, do you know? I that? don't know. Sh Shirin, do you know that? No. The, the perks. The perks. Have you heard perks? Perks. P -E -R -K, P-E-R-K. The plural form perks. Yes. For example, you could say, instead of one of the advantages of living away from my parents, instead of that, you could say, one of the perks, one of the perks of living away from your relatives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That was definitely new mm -hmm. to me. Was it? It's strange that yes. it's, it's new. You know, because um, when you learn a new word and then you go back to the texts, books, and articles that you read before, you can see that you saw this word before, but you didn't notice. You never yeah. looked it up or anything. Maybe. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. say the same sentence, this time with yeah, perks. The perk. Yeah, one of the perks of uh, having... Um, such a lifestyle, mm -hmm. I mean, living far um, from r your relatives and your parents in another city mm -hmm. would be, you know, um, would be that they, uh, mm -hmm. they wouldn't meddle in your affairs. Yes, very good. Okay. How about mm -hmm. in, in... Yeah. Uh, but... Mm -hmm. um, yes? At my work, mm -hmm. at work uh, you yes. know, when... Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I feel sometimes I feel that 
maybe um, other people try to meddle in my uh, decisions and in my work. I I am a good listener. I try to okay, listen to them I'm sorry. carefully. Wait, wait. And I, a, that's good. You said when other people try to meddle in my decisions and my work, okay? Because you're a doctor. Yes, did you yes. say that? Okay, that would be right. Because you're a doctor, there's another word that you can use. Because you know. In my mm -hmm. um, in my practice. Very good. Yes, exactly. That's what I in my practice. Yes. My practice. If you wanted to yes. say people meddle in the things that you do, your relationship with your patients, the decisions you make regarding uh, treating them, is that what you want to talk about? Yes, okay, yes. That's good. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, uh, as I said, I'm a good listener. Mm -hmm. I try to have their advice. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes I think. It's like a meddling, mm -hmm. and um, I try to, you know, let them know by my behavior, mm -hmm. or sometimes ignore by ignoring them, mm -hmm. and. Um, Ali Chap. But it's Ali very Chap. difficult. Say Ali Chap to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and yeah, and turn a blind eye no, to them. No, no. But no, it's no. very difficult. No, see. Turn a blind eye. No, no, yes. that's not a problem. Uh, you, you were saying that I try to ignore them by doing this and doing that and doing that, and then you have to say turning, and, turning and then, a blind eye. Turning, yes, yes. turning mm -hmm. a blind eye mm -hmm. to them, but it's uh, very difficult to mm -hmm. um, to tell them directly. Yes. What them tell not them not to yes. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's rude and I, I can't do that uh -huh. because I'm a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's what you do. You try to ignore that or do something so that you won't hurt them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. that you won't hurt exactly. them. Exactly. So you covered this part. I wanted to ask mm -hmm. about unsolicited advice. Uh, you covered that part, mm -hmm. but Shirin did not. Okay, I'll get back to Shirin. Mm -hmm. But um, okay. have you ever, in your life, Beza, not after you got married, but in your life, had to start a fight with someone before, before the time when you decided, I don't know, to be a gentleman and ignore people? I don't know. <laughs> you know, people's uh, meddling. Have you ever had to start a fight because of someone's meddling in your affairs? Maybe when you were a kid. Maybe when you were at school. <clears throat> um, the the thing that I can remember mm -hmm. was about um, eight years ago when I started my career. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when I start my job uh -huh. in, at, in Ali Asghar Hospital. And mm -hmm. as you know, my job and my major mm -hmm. is a new, ma new major in Iran. And when I first started, I was the only one Excuse me, what in is, Ali what Asghar. And it was I know that you're uh, a pediat pediatrician. Yeah. Why is it new? Not pediatrician. Uh -huh. my no. My subspeciality sub is um, pediatric intensivist. What is it? I'm a pediatric intensivist and I think... Oh, um, for intensive care uh, units? Is that with, what you're dealing with? Yeah, in, mm. yeah, I work only in intensive care units. I see. And, uh, yeah, and the way uh, that we approach uh, pa our patients mm -hmm. nowadays mm -hmm. is uh, different from, you know, um, the way that um, my colleagues used to do, mm -hmm. for example, 10 or 20 years ago. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, and when you uh, start something new and you uh, want to say something new, for sure you will have some, mm, can I say, opponents? Yes, of course. But no, not opponents in here. Yeah. Let me think of a better word. Objective. 
Objection. You will face objections. Ob you can say you will face objections. You will face. But yeah. it, there is a word face you can objections. use. And it's a beautiful one. Uh, naysayer. Have you heard of this? Naysayer. Nay means no. Naysayer is a person who says no. When you want to start something new, you, new, uh, there are naysayers everywhere. Naysayers. They want to stop you. They don't want yeah. to do something new. Actually, it happened to me, mm -hmm. and I had some naysayer, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was really hard for me. It was really hard for me mm -hmm. to uh, make them um, make them convenience. No, convince them. You mean? And um, convinced. To, yeah, to make them convinced. Mm -hmm. And we had uh, we had a lot of. Uh, um quarrels mm -hmm. and sometimes we i i i uh i did uh, some fight with them mm -hmm. and um sometimes i uh, had to you know be not a gentleman <laughs> because i was very serious about my major okay, wait, wait, and wait you know I'm when sorry. you're working wait wait you said sometimes i had to be not a gentleman Uh -huh. Okay, correct that. That's not correct. Of course, you can say I it in conversation. Be... Okay, in conversation, you can say it, but grammatically, I can't say it's correct. Can you make it better? I had not to be. No. When I say correct it, think of adding something, maybe adding a, a word, a I... verb to make it better. Instead of I adding not to, to the sentence, instead of not, not use another verb. Uh, use a verb, actually. Not is not a verb. Mm, I had to be not like a gentleman. Yeah, but a better one. That's the same sentence. You redecorated that. But I want you to make a verb. A verb that's very easy. You know it, Shirin knows it. Manner? No, no, no. Very easy and very simple. It starts with ST. ST. Uh -huh. You see that in the streets, <laughs> I... there are traffic signs that start with ST. There's a red... Stop. Uh -huh. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I had to be, I had to uh -huh. stop uh -huh. like, stop, stop being like a gentleman. Very good, excellent. I had to stop being a gentleman. Very good. Mm -hmm. Go on. I had to stop being like a gentleman. Yes. Very good, very good to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And uh, um, um, I was very serious about my work. Mm -hmm. Because when you work in a critical care, mm -hmm. um, it's very important to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my colleagues, uh, um, oh, were set in their way. Where mm -hmm. the didn't. Yes, go on. Make a sentence. Yes. Yeah, they. Um, they didn't have um, the experience or of working in PICU, and I, I was sure that they were wrong. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I had to, you know, um, I had to have argument with them, mm -hmm. and uh, it was like a meddling in my, you know, practice. I think. Yes. Okay. Wait. Wait. Here. There. Here. Please. So you wanted to say that your colleagues, these colleagues with no experience in your field, wanted to stand yes. in your way. They wanted to stand in your way. Stand in your way. Yes, yes. You could say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I want you. To, I want you to talk more about these colleagues. I want you to use an expression about them. Or maybe some words that, you know, related to the situation. I don't want to say it in English. 
Okay? I want you to say it in English. میخواید بگید آدم بودن که نمیخواستن که اون چه میدونم ایدهشون رو طرز فکرشون رو توی پرکتیسشون تغییر بدن. How do you say that in English? If that is what you want to say. Because I think that's what you want to say. Wanted to say. They were um, stubborn mm, yes. and strong-willed. Yes. What else? Can you use an expression, a sentence structure instead of words? Stubborn is correct. Yes. How else can you say it? Um, mm, uh, strong-willed. Yeah, that's just one word. I, I I need an expression, a phrase, a sentence. I think this is new to you, but <clears throat> you can say they were set in their ways. These doctors were set were... in their ways. It's not only for yes. medicine, it can be used about anything. Yeah? yeah or there, there is another yes. expression Thank you. that I'm sure this one you know. It includes a dog. Yes, definitely. Dog. They were set in their way. Yeah, yeah. Another expression, meaning the same thing, actually. There is a dog in it. Dog. This expression is very famous. I'm sure you must have heard it. Shirin, you. Dog. <laughs> Old, young. So many hints. Dog, old, young. old, young, dog. Mm. It's an expression for someone who's who's mm. old or who's been doing something for a long time, and they're set in their ways. They don't want to change the way they think, the way they behave, the way they work. Teach mm -hmm. old dog, nothing. You haven't heard this? Teach old. You cannot teach no. an old dog new tricks. You haven't heard that? Bezat, you haven't? <laughs> no. no? I, I haven't. haven't. No, 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 no. Okay, that's strange. No. You cannot teach mm -hmm. an old dog an old dog new tricks. You know tricks? You, you no, if you if you're yes. a dog owner, you usually try to teach your dog some tricks like high five and then you treat them i don't know fetch me this and then you treat them but it only works on old new excuse me young dogs if it's an old dog then you cannot teach them anything new they're just set in their ways <laughs> and it might seem yes uh, rude in farsi but it's very common in english uh, they don't take it mm -hmm. when you talk about and people. they say the whole sentence. Yes, you cannot teach an old dog new tricks. You cannot teach an yes. old dog new tricks. Yes. Or they're set yes, in their true. ways. They're set in their ways. Yes. Because when something is set, it's Very fixed. good indeed. It's fixed. Okay, so you were yeah. saying, I just mm -hmm. interrupted you. You had to start a fight. You mm -hmm. had to stop being a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had to stop being a gentleman because they were set in their ways, and actually, their ways mm -hmm. uh, was not the ways was not correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So you had to start a fight. But um, yeah, after six months, I remember mm -hmm. that after six months, everything uh, was okay, mm -hmm. and uh, we were working. Uh, with each other, and we uh, came came along uh, well no. with each other. Came along, and now is, all... I know get along. I never heard come along. Get along. Yeah, yeah. we got along yeah. well. Yes, yes, yes. Got, mm -hmm. we got along. got along well, and um, now mm -hmm. we um, are enjoying working together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can enjoy working together. Yes. So there is an, yes. there's another expression I oh, actually forgot. Something the equivalent of in English. But I cannot remember it. Yeah, actually, I did that. Yes, yes. That's what I wanted to say. But 
I don't remember it. There, there was one expression for it in English. And for you cannot teach an old dog new tricks sometimes in conversation. They shorten it to, you know, old talk, old dog, new tricks. When you're talking to someone, you don't have to just say the whole sentence. Mm -hmm. You can say it like that. Old dog, new tricks, you mean the expression. Okay, so I think you... Kill the cat in the cage. Kill the cat in the cage? Uh, I don't know. That's new to me. <laughs> I don't know. Is that something you made up or did you look it up? I looked it up. <laughs> okay. You have to search a lot because it's new, you know. Kill the cat in the cage. Then you have to <clears throat> read all the connotations. Let me give you an example. In Farsi, we have this expression Mura as must be Runkeshidan. Okay? Hello? Yes. When we say it, yes. we mean that someone is very careful about everything. When you say that Fulani Mura as must be Runkeshe, it means that he's very careful, he's, he pays a lot of attention to details, and he takes everything seriously. Okay? But there is an expression in English books that says split her as a verb. He splits her because, you know, her, mm -hmm. one single her is so thin. If you split that one, then you're doing something that's really, you know, delicate, you know. But it doesn't yes. mean the same thing. In English, when you say that someone splits her, it means that they're paying attention to details that are not important at all. They're doing, they're spending a lot yeah. of time on unimportant details. But unfortunately, some people mm -hmm. um, think that it actually means muraz mas birun keshidan. But muraz mas birun keshidan in Farsi has a positive connotation. Splitting her has a negative connotation. About this one, I have to, you know, check and search and see if it means the same thing. I'm not sure now. Okay, so you were saying that, yes, you had to... What about, mm -hmm. what about pulling hair out of yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> then you have to explain a lot of things to them. <laughs> pulling hair out of yogurt, yes. Yeah, maybe, maybe in order to make it understandable to an English speaker, you have to say, pull out a gray her out of yogurt. Then it makes sense. If it's a gray her, then you cannot find it easily. Then they'll get it. <laughs> I, oh, yes, I yes. Think so. I think so. I'm just joking. So, uh, this is the thing I wanted to say. Um about establishing ground rules. Ground, ground rules. rules. Yeah. You know ground, you know what ground means, right, Shirin? What does ground mean? Ground. Ground, yes. Ground. We have ground yes. floor. What floor is ground floor? Mm -hmm. Grand floor, ham calf, yes. I don't yes, yes, that's correct. Yes, so establishing some ground rules when you start something like based on what you, Shirin, said and what Bezat said, you try to establish some ground rules with people before yes. you admit them yes. into your lives. Mm -hmm. You it's like giving them an entrance exam, okay? Mm -hmm. You Yep. Say, these yes. are my rules. Maybe indirectly. Mm -hmm. You say, if you abide by these rules, then you're welcome in my life. If you don't abide by my rules, yes. you're mm -hmm. not welcome in my life. That's establishing some ground mm -hmm. rules. You can establish some mm -hmm. ground rules with your patients, for example. Bezat. You can say, if you mm -hmm. get out of this door and then come back and say, okay, and, you know, doctors usually uh, talk about amme, that your your aunt told you 
not to, I don't know, take this medicine and your aunt told you to do this and that, I won't accept you as my patient anymore. These are ground rules that you could establish with your patients. If you meddle in my affairs, I won't um, consult with you anymore. These are ground rules that you could establish with your colleagues, Bezat, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So are there any ground rules for you? Do you actually say something? Um, um in at my work anywhere because you want yeah. to stop people from meddling in your into your efforts do you establish any ground rules at the beginning of any yeah everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can say about my uh job yes. because um as i said it's very critical mm -hmm. and everything is um determined mm -hmm. and for example um we know that who is in charge to talk to parents mm -hmm. in um in our PIC mm -hmm. or who is in charge of you know doing some uh, um sophisticated procedures mm -hmm. and um it's not like that that everyone is allowed is allowed mm -hmm. to do anything that they want mm -hmm. they want mm -hmm. and um there is a discipline mm -hmm. uh, the time that um, residents and the interns come into the ward mm -hmm. and the time that they are allowed to uh, l leave the ward mm -hmm. and the relationship and uh, you know the way that behave with other people like our staff and nurses mm -hmm. All of them are very strict, and I'm very serious about mm -hmm. them. Although I'm, I try to um, make a um, good, job, good atmosphere. Yes, you can say that. Yes, you can say friendly, maybe. Yeah. A friendly atmosphere. But atmosphere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. When it is about, uh, you know patients and we are when when we are uh, visiting the patients i'm very strict and serious mm -hmm. so you establish those ground rules these are yeah. your ground rules okay yeah. but not yes. about meddling in your affairs or maybe it is in this way mm -hmm. The people who are ready to meddle in your affairs mm -hmm. when you when they say when they see that you are very strict and uh, very determined, they, most of the time, they hesitate and they uh, won't do that, I think. Instead of hesitate, what else can you say? They, uh, instead of hesitate, yes. no. There's a phrasal they, verb that's very common. They, it doesn't exactly mean that, but it means what you want to say. They, it has something to do with feet. Feet? Ah, uh -huh, you want to say to put your yes. foot down? To put your feet down? Is that what you want to say? No. What do you want to say? Ah, no, no, no. Yeah. no. Think. <clears throat> it has something to do with think. <clears throat> Excuse me. Think again. Think. Have you heard this? Think again. Have you heard uh -huh, think again? Yes. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Unfortunately, they translate it like <laughs> that. <laughs> but no, it doesn't mean the water effect. <laughs> yes, very good. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's what you wanted to say. <clears throat> when the people there, yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, yeah. see that you have established they would, those, uh -huh, yes, go on. Mm -hmm. they, yeah, they would think again, think again, and most of the time they won't think again, and they won't do that. That's very good, yeah. Sometimes, Thank sometimes you. think Thank again you. means changing your mind. For example, if you think yeah. you can, uh, I don't know, meddle in my affairs, think again. It means change your mind because that's not correct. You're wrong. 
Sometimes think again mm. means you're wrong. For example, a colleague comes to you mm. and says, I read this article, I think the author means blah, blah. And then you say, you think that? Mm. Think again means you're wrong. Mm. It depends on the context, mm. okay? Pay attention mm. to the context. Okay, Shirin, how about mm. you? Do you have any mm -hmm. um, clear rules like Bezat has? Of course, he works in a hospital. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. what are they? Yeah. Um, for for every you know, uh, as a um, as a person, mm -hmm. I have some different uh, different. Uh, aspects sometimes i'm uh, in, mm -hmm. simultaneously mm -hmm. i'm a mother i'm a wife i'm a girl uh, for my parents daughter. i'm a sister you mean daughter uh, daughter not uh, a girl daughter. Uh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and uh, um i have different uh, roles in my life and i have i established uh, ground rules for all of them mm -hmm. Um, and um, uh, for example, I, um, I have very close relationship with my daughter, but we have some rules. Um, she have she has to respect to me no. uh, as a mom. No. And, uh, Say that sentence she, again. She has to respect uh -huh. me as a very mom. Respect me. And, yes. uh, mm -hmm mom and uh, uh, we we have some rules and also the, uh, relationship uh, my relationship with Besad mm -hmm. we are from different culture we are from different cities Cultures, yes. uh, the city and uh, I remember mm -hmm. uh, uh, when um, uh, we got married mm -hmm. Uh, 18 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, we um, promised never uh, talk about, never focused on no. these details. No. And no, sure. We promised focus. We promised. Uh, we promised not to. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh, Very good. Excellent. Not to mm -hmm. pay attention to the details, mm -hmm. and we have to. Uh, um, yeah, establishing our uh, established uh, our ground no, rules no. and no, uh, say it again. Mm -hmm. And before that, you said we promised not to pay attention to details. Instead of that, I think I taught you an mm -hmm. expression in in the movie class, maybe two months ago. Yes. What was it? Yes. They say. Mm -hmm. I have forgot. It has something to do with sweat. Does it ring a bell? Does it, does it ring a bell to you? We say don't sweat the small stuff. It means don't get angry or upset over small stuff. So instead of saying we yes. promise, okay, say that sentence again, please. This time use this expression. Mm -hmm. We promised. Uh, uh, we promised mm -hmm. not uh -huh. sweat the small, the small no, stuff. Say it again. We promised. We promised not. Mm -hmm. uh, not. Not to uh -huh. sweat the small stuff. Yes, not to sweat mm -hmm. the small stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Go on. Uh, mm, uh, we mm -hmm. uh, establish mm -hmm. uh, our rules mm -hmm. and uh, we mm, have never uh, we uh, we um, have never mm -hmm. uh, talked about these things like uh, your culture my culture or something like that mm -hmm. and uh, mm, uh, no, you instead uh, of saying talk, for, uh, Shirin, instead of saying talk, you have to use another word, because talk is, you know, um, 
discuss. Yes, dis discuss, discuss or argued. You can use argue, argue or discuss. Mm. You, we, we've never argued about these stuff. Mm -hmm. Go on. And in, uh, at my uh, work, uh, I have uh, some uh, uh, rules mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I'm very uh, serious uh, in my class. Mm -hmm. But after the class, I'm very, I have very close relationship with my trainees. Mm -hmm. uh, but during that, uh, the atmosphere is very serious mm -hmm. and uh, there is no laughing, there is no mm -hmm. uh, jokes okay, and uh, some. You said there that. is no laughing. Instead of saying there is no laughing, how else can you say this sentence? There is no... That sentence is correct, of mm. course. No problem with the sentence. I want you to say it in another way. Rephrase it. Say it with other words. Use another verb. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a hint. Allow. Use allow. Say the same thing in passive voice. Mm. Uh, no one? No, 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 not no one. No. <laughs> Forget about no one. Enough with no one today. <laughs> okay, just there is no laughing. You said there is no laughing. I want you to talk about the same thing in a passive sentence, not active. Passive sentence and use the verb allow. You know the meaning of allow. Mm -hmm. Uh, is allowed. Uh -huh, very good. Uh, now make the sentence. Um, is allowed mm. to no, no, no. laugh. Mm, change the order a little mm. bit. Change the order of the words. Mm. They are not allowed to laugh. That is a very ordinary sentence. I want you to make it a bit fancier. Mm. Mm -hmm. More beautiful. Mm -hmm. Don't start it with a subject. I mean, don't start it with mm -hmm. they. Of course, there is a subject, but not they. Use laugh as a subject. Can you make that sentence? Mm -hmm. Laugh? Yes. Of course, you can change the... La laughing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Laughing is not allowed. Very good. How else? Laughing is not allowed. That's good. How else can you say it? Mm, no laugh. No laughing uh, is allowed. Very good. How else? No laughing is good. But mm. instead of laughing, what is the... Noun form of laugh. Laughing is, of course, considered a noun. But is but what is the noun form of laugh? Laughter. Now say that one. Mm. No. No laughter. Mm. Allowed. Yes, exactly. No laughter is allowed. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. go on. And, uh, but uh, uh, I, um, because uh, it was, it's very important, the discipline is very important for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I have uh, this type of rules, rules yes. uh, and uh, as a as a uh, sister, mm -hmm. uh, I um, have I established some rules, and I uh, always help my brothers, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I try to uh, take care of them, mm -hmm. and uh, mm, I. Mm, uh, 
And you don't for mm -hmm. my sister mm -hmm. uh, for my sister in laws because she is a new member in our family. Uh, I um, uh, always respect her mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I um, don't meddle in her affairs mm -hmm. and uh, I uh, try to um, keep uh, um, to try to uh, keep her at arm's length to <clears throat> do you try to keep her at arm's keep. length keep do you keep. try to keep her <clears throat> excuse me at arm's length to keep somebody <clears throat> excuse me to keep somebody at arm's length is an expression. Do you know what that means? Can mm -hmm. you guess? Mm, yes. No, what does it mean? Have a good relationship no. and it doesn't mean that. keep her. No. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Don't say I don't know so I fast. Don't... Think it. Think a little bit. Mm. Keep in touch no. with her. No. You know the meaning of length. Mm. You know the meaning of arm. Yes. yes. So what does it mean? Mm. To be um, to mm. be kind with her. No, it doesn't have no. anything to do with kind. She tries to. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I think she, um, to keep um, keep an arm length means uh, not to uh, be very close to very someone good. or maybe exactly. meddle in their affairs. Very good, exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. See, like for example, there is an arm between you. Mm -hmm. Keep someone at arm's length means mm -hmm. that you don't let them be very close to you. Mm -hmm. You keep your arms in between. Yeah. شو بکنید مثلا دستتون رو بردید بالا آره اینجا تون بالاست این فاصله رو حفظ میکنید it means that so yes. you try to keep her at arm's length I, hmm? I keep um, yes mm -hmm. uh, I try to keep her at arm's length mm -hmm. uh, but I, li I like her very much but uh, 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 I try to keep her at arm's length mm -hmm. and length mm -hmm. uh, and uh, because I think uh, in this way mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, connected all the time mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not, uh, just something that can broke a relationship break. it's uh, can break your relationship a break can break a relationship is a middle in affair. No, is, is middling in, in, in middling. Instead of break the relationship, in what affair. other verb can you use, Shireen? Instead of breaking a relationship. Mm -hmm. Breaking a relationship. Yeah, there's the verb you can use that starts with R. <clears throat> Ruin. Good. Excellent. Yes, that is mm. what ruins relationships. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much, yeah. Shireen, and thank you very much, <laughs> Behzad. And that was. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you keep? Uh, have a good day, Shireen's. And have a good week. Yes. Do you keep Shireen's brothers yeah. at arm's length too? Do you take revenge? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I think we know we have a very good relationship, especially with Mehrad, because um, he uh, lived with us for four years yeah. when he was student in Tehran, and he is um, like my brother. Yeah. So you cannot take revenge then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, sister in law, she is. Um... My, uh, bro has, my husband's brother, my, my, uh, br my, brother. my brother's wife, not uh, Besat's ah, sister. I see. Okay, <laughs> so you meant that one. Yeah. 
<laughs> my mind only went to that because you know we're Iranians. That's why. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. We have a very good relationship with her sister. His sister. His sister. <laughs> yes. His sister. Yes, yes, very good. His sister. Okay, yes. Yes. You have to apologize, my Iranian mind. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Had a nice class. Thank you. And we'll see you Thank again you. next week. Bye bye. یه لحظه میخوام عکس بگیریم از این چیز چتا ببخشید من این اشتباه ها هم نوشتم هم خود عکس بگیرید این به درد نمیخوره نگاه کنید این بالا تمام جملات اشتباه هم نوشتم که داشتیم محل محل درستش میکردیم حالا باید یه جلسه دیگه بذاریم برای جملا اوکی Merci. Okay. Thank okay, you. Thank Have a good weekend. You too. Bye bye. I'll see you on Saturday. Sure. Bye bye.